hey there guys and welcome back. On this week's show, we're going to be making some mini photo easels. Well, if you are a regular viewer of the show, you know that I love projects that use up scrap wood. And today's project is no different and it's a great one to use up some scrap. So what we're going to be making, as I said in the intro, is some mini photo easels. And it all starts off with some scrap, 3 8 thick stock of whatever species you have or want to use. Well, I've gone over to the wood rack and I found some 3 8 walnut scrap and I've cut it down to 3 8 by 3 8 of an inch. So what we're going to need in order to make the easels is two pieces cut to five inches long, one piece cut to four and a half inches long, and one piece cut to three and a half inches long. Now we want to take our five inch pieces and we need to put a bevel on one end. I know the marks aren't going to show on the walnut on film so I'll show you here on the paper. What we need is at the end we need a measurement or a mark right here. This will be one eighth of an inch in from the edge of the board and then we're going to come down from the end at one half inch. Once you get those two marks, we will join them both just like that, hopefully straight, not curved, <laughs> and we will sand this part off and that will provide the bevel on our five inch pieces. So take your pieces over to the sander once you mark them and just on one side only, put that bevel on there. Well, now that we have the bevel in each one of our five inch pieces, we're going to round off the back end and we're going to round it right from the edge of our bevel here, right around pretty much to about the half inch mark, same as what we measured here. So we're going to take this over to the sander, sand this off. While we're at it, we're going to be taking our four and a half inch piece and we're going to be rounding one edge of it right here from this corner to right back to this corner. Well at this point you should have two five inch pieces that have the bevel on the one side and they're rounded over on the back edge of those pieces. You should also have one four and a half piece, uh, inch piece that has the one edge rounded over just like that. And now with our three and a half inch piece, we're going to round over on each end the same way that you did with the four and a half piece, but it will be at both ends instead of just one. Before we go too far, what you want to do is you want to give all the pieces a good sanding. All of those sharp edges that are on the 3 8 by 3 8 uh, pieces, you want to sand those sharp edges off and give them a softer appearance. Now once you're done that, get yourself some 1 8 inch diameter dowels and meet me back over at the bench. Well, if you went over to the bench and you're waiting for me there, get out of there and come over to the drill press. What I've got is a 1 8 inch diameter bit installed. And here we have our pieces with the bevel. And what we're going to do is we're going to sit the bevel as best we can flat on the drill press. And we're going to drill a through hole centered on the 3 8 width 
but one quarter of an inch down from the end. So we're going to do that in this piece and the corresponding piece for the other side with the bevel. So we now want to take the piece that has the one bevel. This is the four and a half inch piece. And we're just going to drill a through hole through the side of it. Can you see how we're drilling it? Right through here. And don't drill through here like we did on the other pieces, but through the side. And you just want to leave enough meat there so that we can get a dowel in there without risking it blowing through. Well, I've now got a 1 8 diameter dowel. It's about an inch and a half long. And I'm going to apply a little bit of glue to it. You don't need much. And once we get that glue applied, I'm going to insert it into one of our pieces with the bevel. It can be a little tight. Don't be afraid to give it a little bit of persuasion. Now you want to do it until it's just protruding on the opposite side. And once you get it protruding just a little bit, you can clean up your squeeze out that's here because now we have to install the next piece. Well, the next step is to take your piece that does not have a bevel on it and this round over that we placed on that will go towards the back of our easel. So you don't want any glue, just slide it on there and it may be a little tight as I said and that's okay. That's okay because we want it to have a little bit of resistance. And then once you get that done, what we're going to do is we're going to apply a little glue inside the hole. Now don't put this one on the dowel because this is going to get slid onto here. If you have glue on the dowel, it's going to end up on the side of our back piece. It's going to glue it together and we don't want that. So just a little bit of glue inside the hole here, being careful not to get any on your flat part of your bevel. And once you get that on there, slide this piece onto your dowel. Just like that. Now you want to lay it flat until the glue dries now so that these square pieces here or the outside edge pieces can dry in the same plane. They'll be parallel to each other, so to speak. So I'm going to leave that to dry for a bit. And then uh, once we're done that, we'll come back and move on to the next step. Well, now that the pieces are dry, I'm going to take it over back to the sander and we're just going to sand off this dowel until it's flush with our tripod or our easel. And we're going to sand this whole radius right around to allow this piece to be level with our other ones. Now, I think I said in one of the clips that the rounded over section of your middle piece goes at the back. Sorry about that, guys. Actually, it goes to the front, not the back. So that's just something to keep in mind. So with that rounded section now at the front where it's supposed to be, we now have our three and a half inch section. And what we're going to do is we're going to glue it in place so that it is parallel to the bottom two corners of the front of our easel, but we're only going to glue it on the outside pieces. Do not glue it to the middle. So, Let's get that glued up and then we can move on to what I would like to think will be the final step. So in order to help me get things all parallel and flush and straight and all that jazz, I've got a straight edge against some bench dogs with a three quarter inch spacer here. And I'm just going to place a little dab of glue on each side and then we will glue it in place three quarters of an inch up from the bottom edge of our easel. And 
and we'll just eyeball it up to center it. And once you get that done, of course, you can just clean up the squeeze out. Well, the very last step in this process, or in, in the build rather, is we're going to take it over to the drill press and center it here on both this piece and on the back piece, we're going to drill a 1 8 inch through hole on each side. Once we get that done, we're going to come back to the bench and we're going to glue in a 1 8 diameter dowel into each of those sides and cut it flush and sand it so that it's not sticking out. Now with those dowels cut flush and sanded, I think I'll just give this a quick coat of Danish oil and then we'll be done with it. And there you have it. Some mini portrait easels made out of scrap. Guys, this is a spectacular project. I mean, as far as in the shop goes and using up scrap wood, think of how much it really used. It used next to nothing and probably pieces that were lying around that weren't getting used for any project anyway because they'd been sitting on a rack neglected forever. Why not use them up and make some of these? Adjust the size, make the legs longer, shorter, wider, fatter, thicker, whatever you like to suit your needs. Maybe you have a larger picture that you would like displayed on a table or a credenza and you want that to sit on a nice, say, walnut stand or what have you. This is the project then for you. Because there's no real major tools involved other than the table saw, of course, but beyond that, it's sanding. So it's a great project to get your kids out to the shop and get them involved to help them to make a project for mom or dad, let's say, for Mother's Day, Father's Day, birthdays, Christmas, whatever. They'll love it regardless. Guys, really, how can you go wrong? And yeah, that's me. Guys, I really want to thank you for tuning in this week. This project has been a heck of a lot of fun. Sometimes it's nice to get away from the bigger projects in woodworking and concentrate on something that's just kind of small and crafty and just something that you have a little bit of fun with. If you haven't already, guys, please like and subscribe. Don't forget to click that bell so you get future notifications of the show. And I hope you're going to join me next week when I bring you yet another woodworking video.